Tiger Shroff and Disha Patani had the time of their lives in the Maldives. And you can too. Just because you're not a celebrity doesn't mean you can't have a magical, unforgettable vacation to an exotic faraway place. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! If you want to travel but just don't know how, I don't know. Keep watching till the end to see how to experience the Maldives on the cheap. If you are lucky enough to have been to the Maldives already, watch anyway and tell us in the comments your favorite parts of the island or any tips that we've missed. Hello fellow travelers, welcome to Tops, where we show you how to travel the world on a budget. We believe that traveling helps connect people and makes the world a better place. We cannot pay for your trips, but we can show you how to make them more affordable without losing out on the good stuff. Hang on tight, cause here we go! Tiger and Disha really had a blast in the Maldives. I mean, look at those pictures. The beach, the water, and them of course. Everything is perfect and amazing. Want to know how much the trip costs? Everything. Are you even a tiny bit curious about how to recreate this experience for yourself? Well, don't worry, we got that for you. To estimate the costs of their trip, we have to find the resort first. While we search, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to visit the Maldives as well? This won't necessarily get you there, but it will tell us that this video is helpful for you and allow us to make more travel help videos in the future. Thank you. Okay, got it. This is it. Comparing thousands of pictures and using the most sophisticated AI, we located their resort. The Intercontinental Maldives Mamunagao Resort in the Ra Atoll. It perfectly matches the pictures on Disha's Instagram. This must be it. The lighthouse looks exactly the same. And also the hashtag in Tiger's post perfectly matches the hotel name. This place looks pretty expensive. What do you think? How much per night would you say? Pause the video right here and put your guesses in the comment section below. The person with the best guess will receive one day of extra sunshine on their next trip to the Maldives. Show us the money! Alright, here you are. Tiger posted pictures from the Maldives between the 11th of November and the 14th. Starting with the seaplane transfer and ending with a dance workout back in India on the 16th of November. So we'll assume they relaxed 4 nights, 5 days leaving the Maldives on the 15th travel and transportation costs. We couldn't find any direct business class flights from Mumbai to Malay, so we will put a price of around 90,000 rupees per person into the travel budget. In case they chartered a private jet, the price could get as high as 750,000 rupees. To reach the resort, they had to take a seaplane. Return flight tickets are 740 USD per person, so in total 110,000 rupees. Accommodation and food. So how much do they spend on accommodation and food? Did you already put your guess in the comments? This is your last chance. A sunset overwater pool villa for two. Look at those pictures. Okay, so the villa with breakfast and dinner included gets us to roughly 350,000 rupees for four nights. Did you guess it right? That's 87,500 rupees per night. In case you came here looking for exactly the same hotel Tiger and Disha booked, we put a link to it in the description below. Okay, so we've roughly figured out their transportation and accommodation costs. Breakfast and dinner, done. Do they even eat lunch? They look so perfect and skinny. Hmm, let's add some light lunch or a salad for the non-travel days for a total of 20,000 rupees. To top it all off, we should include some nice perks for this lovely couple. How about a candlelight dinner on a private sandbank for 50,000 rupees 
and a relaxing massage for both at a price of 40,000 rupees. Yeah, that seems about right. I mean, spending all of their time just on the beach would be kind of boring, right? So overall, we end up with a price tag of around 750,000 rupees for Tiger's and Disha's trip, not considering a chartered private jet. That is 190,000 rupees per night or 95,000 per person. And now it begins. How can we make the exact same trip cheaper while having the same experiences and Instagram posts? Magic, of course. Haha, <laughs> nah, just kidding. We will use our mightiest tool, our brain. We can start by cutting the travel and transportation costs. We will fly economy instead of business and choose a resort that can be reached by speedboat instead of a seaplane. What about these? They look nice. Economy return flights from New Delhi to Malé on the 30th of October until the 3rd of November for 22,500 rupees each. Speedboat transfers cost around 50 USD per person per trip. So this will add another 15,000 rupees to our budget. Yeah, they are not as fast and as fancy as seaplanes, but if we don't stay too far from Malé, it will not really make a big difference. Now we come to the tricky part. Where are we going to stay? There are many options, and the prices vary a lot. You can stay in guest houses on local islands with decent air-conditioned rooms for less than 15,000 rupees per night, including all meals. One example is the Difushi Inn for 55,000 rupees for four nights. It has air-conditioned rooms, a perfect beach, and crystal clear water. And isn't this the same water Tiger and Disha experienced? Exactly, it's all the same. Or you could consider the West Sands on Ukulhas with nice rooms starting from 26,000 rupees for four nights, including breakfast. And the beaches? Oh my God, those beaches. Don't they look the same as in Disha's Instagram posts? What about the Quicksand Razdu? You can have your own villa with all meals for only 53,000 rupees for all four nights. All right, all right, I know what you're thinking. Those aren't resorts, no water villas. Come on, do you really need all that? When you go to the Maldives, you'll get to try out snorkeling, sunbathing, exploring and adventuring. There's so much more to do than sitting in your villa all day. I mean, are you really coming to the Maldives just to sit in your room on your phone? Heck no, get out there and see the world. Okay, okay, you really want to experience the luxurious life of Tiger and Disha. Got it, and your wish shall be granted. Most of the luxury resorts offer day passes, starting from 35 up to 200 USD per person. So grab one, go there, enjoy the pools, the facilities, the food, and shoot some nice backflips for your Instagram stories. Just make sure you don't hurt yourself. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and book a candlelight dinner on a private sandbank for the most romantic sunset ever. This service is offered by most guest houses and will cost you 15,000 rupees. And that's it. No rocket science needed. Only common sense and basic research. Let's pop it on the whiteboard and check the results. Transportation, accommodation, excursions and trips. So yes, it is possible to get Tiger's and Disha's holiday experience for less than 150,000 rupees. That is just 19,000 rupees per person per night. Skip some of the perks and you can get close to one lakh. We hope you enjoyed the video and found some useful tips and inspiration for your next trip. Stay safe and keep exploring. See you next time.
No animals were harmed during the making of this video.